you gonna do? Aaron, you want to go there too? It's going to be crazy. Watch out. Be careful with rocks. Are we ready? Ready? World Market. They have excellent stocking stuffers and unique gifts, so I'm headed in there. There's my chair and the matching couch. That's one of our bayous that floods all the time. It's pretty high right now because of all the rain. I have a knot I can feel in my lower back that's been bothering me all day and it feels like it's getting a little worse and I know what it's from. It's from walking around the Galleria the other night carrying my heavy handbag and then all those purchases that I made. So I hope my back doesn't go out. Man, it was hard to find a parking spot. This parking lot is more busy than it was on Black Friday. Um, I'm here at another world market because the last one did not have what I wanted. Oh my gosh, they have them. <laughs> this is an advent calendar, 12 days of Italian wine. Each door has a little wine bottle in it. I wanna get that. Look, wine samples. They have a whole section of Texas wines here. I didn't know that they carried any of that at World Market, but indeed they do. There's Messina Hof. That's where we were last weekend. I decided not to get the advent calendar after all because I looked at the list of wines on the back and I wasn't very interested. I also realized that they were $4 each at that price. And World Market has lots of little mini bottles of wine. This store didn't have the selection that the other store did, so I may go look at the other store and just pick up a few small bottles there. They're between like four and seven or so dollars mostly, but I could get a selection of wines that I'd like a lot better than those. Also, I wanted to show you my bag. I'm carrying the Speedy 30 and Damier at Ben with my strap from my Trevi. I've got my luggage tag, small size with my initials on it, and 
I'm carrying my penguin bag charm for the first time today. I can't believe it is December 9th and this is the first day I've thought to wear it. I'm back at Bucky's to do a little bit of Christmas shopping. It is freezing cold and very windy out here. I'm gonna run inside. I found the handbags. Stopping here for lunch in Waller, Texas, right down the road from Bucky's. We'll see how it is. I forgot to film this when it first came, so it's not as pretty, but I'm trying to be good. I got a nice healthy plate at this Mexican restaurant with some grilled shrimp and it has some green peppers and onions, some steamed vegetables and some rice, and they gave me some charro beans too, which are delicious. Um, so this is a little weird. I'm gonna back up and be really small in the picture here, and I guess I'm in the shadows too, but I wanted to film in a different place. I'm trying to film a different location every day, but I wanted to show you what I was just doing. I have, I keep, wrapping bags I recycle all that stuff or reuse it so like wrapping paper that can't be reused I recycle but I keep all the gift bags that I get and I reuse them so right now you remember in this corner I had a bunch of stocking stuffers I took a bag out of over here for each person that I'm buying stocking stuffers for um, this one is for the dogs and I went ahead and divided up all those stocking stuffers into the bags so that I can get a clearer picture of what I have bought, um, who I've already bought too much for, who I haven't bought enough for, who I still need to shop for. So that's really helpful. Maybe that'd be a helpful tip for you too. I think I'll turn around. I hope that's a more interesting view for you, even though I'm probably in the shadows here. Let's do the 12 days of Christmas and the reflection question. So for the Christmas charity today, it is Ronald McDonald House, and I'm sure a lot of you have heard of them. A friend of ours was president of the Houston chapter for a few decades. There was a Ronald McDonald House at the hospital where the boyfriend worked. They had family rooms in the neonatal ICU and pediatric areas where for the neonatal specifically, which is where he worked, families could come stay in that room and they could get training for how to take care of their baby that still needed special care at home. And I got to go and see the rooms. They look like little hotel rooms. And then there's like a communal kitchen and they provide supplies and all this. It, it's really cool. It's a great thing. So I would recommend donating to them or even volunteering with them. It's a great organization. The reflection question is if someone wrote a book about your life in 2018, what genre would it be? A comedy, love story, drama, film noir, or something else? I think mine would be a tragedy, and I don't think I have to go into any detail about that. I've explained it in previous videos. If you've been watching, I think you know why it would be a tragedy. Now let's do the L'Occitane Advent Calendar for today. All right, here's the calendar. I've got Lily in here next to me. She's helping out. She's going to go back home tomorrow while we go to wineries. And let's get to L'Occitane. So open it up and get those out of the way. We're looking for door number eight. Door number eight. Door number eight. Where could you be? The ones in blue are so hard to find. Do, do, do. Is that it? I can't tell. Oh, there it is. All right. Let's see what is behind door number eight. This is a small door. Oh, it's a tiny, tiny little tube. And again, I don't have my glasses. I never come prepared for this. It is a light comforting cream. What does that mean? Why is it comforting? Because it's so little? I don't understand. It's cute. I'll put it with the other ones. Oh, look at these two. Brother and sister hanging out in the little bed together. They're so cute, all curled up. Hi, Vincent. Hi. 